do, we will not only help you, we'll show you where to find the information so you know how to get there. Uh, if there's something you want to report, uh, if there's anything that's going on that seems out of the ordinary, let us know. We will make sure to get to the right people. Um, if you look at the back of your badges, this is some awesome art in the front, but if you look in the back, there's a place for you to report information too. So in case you don't feel comfortable telling it to us, you can send it there anonymously and we will handle it. Because the more the con knows about it, the better we can make things safe for all of you. Okay? Thank you so much and please say hi to one of the folks here this weekend. Oh, so at least one of them out. Thank you. Also, do note the back. We mean it. Ask them anything. Ask how their day is going. Ask their favorite color. Yeah, is it pink? <laughs> Alright, uh, next one, some other stuff. Uh, let's jump over to, I saw Dalmi and Dealers. So, I think you have a couple of things to go over. Wait, Dalmi's here? Like, the Dalmi? Okay. Oh, so. Hi guys, my name is Dalmi. For those of you who don't know me, I am the director for the Dealers Den. I should be standing up here for this one. There's no seats, so. Ouch! It's fine. Notice that there's only one color missing. Oh. Oh. Savage. Oh. Savage. I'm the director for the dealers then. I'm super, super excited. And thank you to Alkali for trusting me with this position. Um, I, I think I killed Alkali. <laughs> Uh, this is my first year doing Directors of Dealers Den, and I am super honored by the staff for trusting me, and also super excited. I've been a dealer before when I ran my first year business, and also with Mall Apparel, and it's really, really exciting to be doing something like this, and I am super, super pumped. Our Dealers Den looks freaking awesome. Not going to do my more, but I killed it. Um, <laughs> so, there are a couple of things. Um, there are two dealers who unfortunately were not able to make it. So as a result, there have been a small change to our dealer's den. If I can find the updated map, here we go. Um, so table 16 is actually is being shared by two of our artist alley uh, artists. Um, I can't remember the name right now because I literally just got them their table. Um, but I highly recommend you go check it out. They're sharing a table and they're really, really, really sweet. Um, and then on table 24, we have the Leo Gators Den. They've taken over that space. Um, again, I'm really excited about this dealer's den. It opens at noon. Um, and then last thing, if you are a sponsor or you are a super sponsor, we have all of your swag at the con store in the dealer's den. So that's your t-shirt, your posters, all that fun stuff. So if you're a sponsor or a super sponsor, just make sure you have your badge on you. We will just check your badge number and hand that over to you. You can find it in the con store. The con store, when you walk through the first doors of the dealer's den, the con store is going to be the one that's on your furthest left-hand side. Um, so I am super, super excited. Thank you guys again, and I need to run back to dealers so I can actually talk to them. So have a fun con, guys. Thank you. And Danny Moore, it was nice to have some purple on the stage. I appreciate it. Purple is the color of royalty. All right. Uh, similarly related to Dealers Den, we have Artist Alley. And Emil, do you have anything you wanted to add for that? No. <laughs> Honest. Best ceremonies ever. Uh, to, to add to the Dealers Den and Con Store thing, uh, I have some hotel items to go over. So as a bunch of you have found out by now, we've tried our best to tweet this and get the message out. Uh, there is no more daily included breakfast that is different this year. Uh, there will be a complimentary breakfast on Sunday, and there are tickets for that. The way you get the tickets, the person who got your room in this hotel can go to Con Store and get up to two vouchers that will work for the Sunday breakfast. We do have a lot, but it is a limited amount. You go there, you give your name and room number, you can get one or two vouchers. Uh, this, these are going to be open, and you can get them starting at noon when Con Store is open, and this is for Sunday. Uh, On a similar note, uh, because obviously it does, uh, we all knew it had to go away sooner or later. That breakfast was amazing here, and every year we would sit down at the after meeting, they look at me and it's like, so, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, in lieu of that, there is a wonderful panel that happens here every year, one of our traditions, Saturday morning cartoons. Yay. This year's Saturday morning cartoons will have milk, cereal, and donuts available yes. for anyone who wants to attend. That is 9 a.m. Saturday morning.
Now, as you all have seen, uh, you got various sheets from the hotel at checking in that was also in your room. I want to go over the really nifty thing that we're doing. Uh, this is blatantly stolen from other conventions, so heck yeah. Uh, there is a room cleaning contest at this convention, and it's a little bit different than others. Uh, when room service or what have you comes through, each day, if your room is in good standing, they're going to put your room number into the pool. And that is a chance at a drawing for a complimentary stay next year. So if your room is clean nice. Friday and Saturday and Sunday, you get three chances. What are you winning next year? They are going to pull five different room numbers and the name on that room will get three complimentary night stay for 2020. So five of those. Additionally, to help with this, everyone, if they haven't gotten it already, there should be an extra 55-gallon garbage bag in your room, and that will get replenished every day. If you need additional for any reason, call the front desk, and they will gladly bring you more. How do you make a 55-gallon <laughs> Good question. <laughs> booze. Lots and lots of booze. Very funny. <laughs> Uh, and lastly, we always go over this just because we want to remain in good standing. Regardless of how much vaping has helped people quit smoking and is overall a good thing for reducing the toxins and cancers in bodies and in air, it is still treated as smoking by this establishment. That means, please, 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 in no way, shape, or form, vape in the halls, in the meeting rooms, in your hotel rooms, in the bathrooms. It is treated as a cigarette. You must please, please, please go outside and be 20 to 25 feet away from an entrance. Uh, this matters. There's, you know, we all know in here vaping isn't as bad, but that isn't how the law sees it. So if you just do us all a favor, I know we're a winter con and that's not the best for some of us scrawnier people to have to go outside. <laughs> You almost died. <laughs> I shivered. I wasn't even smoking. I was just tagging along. I handed him my cocktail shaker. I didn't need to do anything. It was, it was a very nice martini afterwards. <laughs> but I will continue to do that. And if the rest of you just, you know, give a note to your friends, uh, this is going to help us out. And it's going to go a long way. It, it uh, really matters this year, guys. And that uh, we're talking about vaping, but that, of course, goes for any kind of smoking. All I'm asking, just take a walk. I really would appreciate that. Uh, that was a problem last year, and it can't be a problem this year. Thank you guys so much for your cooperation on that. Also on the topic of the hotel, I did want to bring up that uh, this hotel, things are going to happen. They're very used to handling large numbers of guests like this, and they're very used to hearing your feedback. If something is wrong, let the hotel know, because they have one goal and one goal alone. Who in here works retail? Does anyone have to work retail? I have Do you guys have that silly point system where you can get rated 1 through 10? Yes. They have that corporately. If you're in retail, you know this. The numbers 1 through 9 are zeros. A 10 is a 10. They want to make you happy because they want to get 10s. If you have a problem, let them know. They're going to fix it for you. Guys, thank you so much, and as always, I know we don't have a representative in here right now because I got him a little drunk last night. <laughs> <laughs> he was up very late, just a little bit. Uh, a huge thank you to the hotel who has been absolutely wonderful to us this year getting all this set up. So, hotel, if anyone can hear us, thank you. Yay! All right. Uh, Happened. I don't know. First score happened. I just got tagged. Yes. Tag, you're in. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? It has a task on oh. it. It's hard to it has I'm going to be hit for a very long time. <laughs> Uh, last thing, really quick. Do we have do we have keys and senshi in here? I can't see. Okay, you might have seen these awesome, wonderful uh, charity-based con coins. They are insane and different this year. There's one being held up. There is a whole different array of them for our various friends and guests that have happened that these folks have made. They are good. these all go to charity. All proceeds go to charity. Uh, these will be sold also at uh, Fishy's table in the dealer's den. So straight back, couple over on that wall. You will be able to see and get those. Please go and check those out and look, and it helps the charity. So uh, thank, give a round of applause to Keys and Senshi. You're going to be impressed.
Oh, oh that's talk now. Let's go over to programming. Ladies and gentlemen, Husko! Blame oh. Husko. We love you, Husko! Do not boo the Ford! <laughs> <laughs> you can boo me all you want. Don't boo the Ford. Nah. I don't do nothing. No, that's okay. This isn't the internet. It's real life. But they can boo me. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. All right, guys. Usually I use this time to go over which panels I think you should go to, but you guys can all read, right? No! Well, okay, so you have about 12 hours to learn how to read, actually about 12 minutes. This is the pocket guide that is available in registration. Grab one. It is about 98% accurate. Which is, you know, about what these things are for pretty much any time. Still an A. Yeah, it is. Still an A. Um, the hours are right. Including the Culver's hours, the Yay. map is not right. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, we do not have a zoo this year. Over now, who knew that we had a zoo last year? We did. Exactly. Oh, oh, That's why we don't have a zoo this year. <laughs> um, there were a couple. There were a couple of room changes due to do some uh, unforeseen circumstances. Anything in Moreland One is now in Moreland Three. Artemis was in Moreland Three. It's now in Moreland Six. And Jake, if you would like to come up here, because I know you want to talk about Artemis a little bit. You guys love Artemis more than the zoo, don't you? Yeah. Who's Artemis? I don't know. I don't know. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, we're running Artemis like we have every year, except we're in a different location like you just mentioned. But this year we're running a tournament. So anyone's welcome to enter the tournament. The, the prize is going to be a te uh, free attendee for next year for the entire crew. So that's six people that will get a chance to win for attendee for next year. Um, Sign-ups will be on the door.